Hey everybody and welcome back to Hardcore Heroes. <laughs> you guys are standing around in the gentle rain. No, we are we no, are we'll, taking we'll the we'll the Yeah, we're going back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me know if we what time if we do make it back to Shirebrook, what time will it be? You get back before evening. I want to go and okay. see Aldrich. So, are we would I be able to um nap and still sleep overnight? No. Okay. Yeah, you'd be I'm night. going I'm going to Rohana. Yeah, I say uh, I'm going to go with you then. All right, so the party okay. splits uh Malachi goes to Aldrich, the other two of you guys go to Rohana. Yeah. I think before That's we split, true. I'll I'll ask uh, Malachi, are you sure we could you could come to Rohana's with us? You can see Aldrich after. Okay. Sure. All right. Everyone goes to Rohana's. It is not quite evening. Uh, you make it to the lovely wizard's house, uh, her shop, really. It seems to be filled with patrons today, and she's busily selling things to this person and that person, and uh, is fairly oblivious to your guys' presence as you walk mm -hmm. into the house. Uh, yeah. All right. Wait patiently. Um, okay. Brett's have finished with their customers. Sure. It takes a, a good long while. You guys find yourself with plenty of time to talk about things or to just, you know, stand around. Uh, you notice sure. a lot of these people are younger, um, and they all seem to be, after you're watching, they seem to be here together. Yeah, uh -huh. so what's going on? Not sure. Um, I take an interest if it if there's, like, an unusually large group of people here, I'll... Yeah, there's, like, eight people in this room, and there's almost no, never that many people, and they're all... And they seem to be talking to one another and splitting up and looking at things and coming back and buying things and... I'll go up to the counter and I'll say, Rohana, do you need a hand? Not now, not now! For old time's sake? Huh? Okay. Oh, yes, sure, please. What's wrong? What's, uh... That's... How can I help you to the All next right. person? So you start talking to these people. It appears that this is a... A, tr a field trip for a magic school in another town. <laughs> I, uh, eyes go wide and I calm myself and look to the look to the hips of these people. Do they have? Are they all in there with uh, fresh empty spell books? They're all carrying spell books. You gotta be kidding me! Oh my god! It's a field trip of innocent school children. And their no. Oh, are you just gonna fucking murder them outside the town while they have this? Up? Just one or two. <laughs> Just one or two. <laughs> Do we see Fuck. anything in Malachi's I know. So I'll, uh, I'll speak probably to them. see the, a, a twitch cross his face. Maybe, maybe. I ask where they're staying. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah, I may make small talk with these with these people. I try and find out as much as I can about them. Um, they tell you that they are staying aboard their ship tonight. <laughs> mm. Your ship is uh, docked down at the uh, the pier person rolls his eyes at you and goes, right, like we'd be docked anywhere else? Now, look, <laughs> how much does this crystal gem cost? Or th this, um, th this quartz prism cost? Oh, this one. Uh, this one's 50 gold. 50? That, uh, that's outrageous. You're, you know, the, the conversation continues. You can help them buy these Do things, but they seem this. fairly resistant to talking to the help around here. Yeah, yeah. I get that. That's fine. Uh, I might I might cast a spell. Let me just check what I've got. You're gonna cast a spell in a room full of wizards? I don't know. <sighs> just cleric and a flight and a range. Yeah. Are, are wizards able to recognize spells? Um, yeah. yeah, and I think it's poor form to just start casting spells in a room of other people because you never know what someone's like. That's you true. might know what they're casting, but you might not. So I think that's the sort of People just start yeah. bringing magic around. It would be the equivalent think, of like yeah. sitting in a room and someone just pulls out a gun and everyone's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> that's true. Yeah. I, I think Van wouldn't care so much because why would anyone assume he's doing anything that's not magnanimous? Right. But yeah, I can see that, especially with the wizards. Yeah, right. if, no, I, 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 him, I just, if I oh, see him start casting, I grab, his, uh, grab one of his hands to interrupt him and ask him, what are you doing? No, I don't do it. It's fine. If it's... Okay. If I feel like I'm going to get ma seven magic missiles, <laughs> um, so I'll just I'll casually help. I try and I try and stay nice. Um, the instructor, the one adult with this group, 
does come over to the three of you, kind of independently eyeing you up and down, um, and then stops over at Malachi and goes, You there, you have a most interesting enchantment placed upon yourself. Oh, my skin? Yes. Hmm. Yes, it's quite the spell. Well, we all three have. <laughs> Right, but he comes up to Malachi. He, it's pretty obvious that he's the spellcaster of the group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ray, tell me, where did you learn the workings of this? <clears throat> I discerned the secrets myself. Hmm. Is this uh, something you would be willing to trade or barter for or sell? Oh, it's noble. Ooh. Yeah, I could uh, consider some offers. Do you have spells to trade? I unfortunately am quite busy with the schedule, it says, gesturing to the children around him. But I would be quite happy to part with a small parcel of gold in exchange for a, a glance at what you have. How small a parcel? Hmm. Uh, 400? <clears throat> sure, I'll, uh, I could come by tonight and show you it. I'm afraid I have business to attend to right now. Sure, sure. You Your ship is at the docks, did you say? Yes, well, we'll be staying aboard the Wave Skipper. Uh, okay, I'll, uh... Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I give Van a look. Say shut up, and, uh... The way, yeah, okay, I'll uh, I'll come and see you tonight. Uh, do you, will you have dinner prepared, or should I come after? Of course, the captain always prepares us a fine meal. The captain. Have you been with the captain long? Oh, he's taking us on a tour. Uh, we've been acquainted many a time. Have you been to Shybrook um, before? On our yearly trip, I tend to bring our pupils through here. I, uh, excuse me if I'm interrupting you, but from where are you coming? I haven't heard of any magic schools around here. It would be a terrible school if you had. <laughs> anyway, I have investigations, um, I, things I need to discuss with Rohana here. Uh, if I'll help the rest of your students and I'll see you tonight. Of course. Uh. You guys part ways and continue buying and selling things. Uh, eventually, the, the people finish up their jobs and head out. And Rohana, seeming to have been holding in her coughing fit, just like collapses on the ground in a, a fit of coughing and hacking. And you know, she's got blood on her hands when she's done with it. It's like a, a 10 minute process. I, I, on, before, I, before they walk out, Neil, Van, Van is going to recover from the weight bit and say, Hold on, you said you were staying on your ship. Is that. Riverside or Waterfront? I'd rather Malachi went to the right place. On the Waterfront. Ah, okay. Is that the nice one? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. also, most of the docks are out on the Waterfront. Out yeah, to I, the assume, ocean. I assume ships can still dock around uh, Riverside. Yeah, yeah well, it's just, you know, ocean-going vessels, there's no reason okay. to go yeah. up into the river. Right. The current's a little strong. What kind of ropes... Did they Wait, be before he goes, sorry, I'll say it. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Tim, they call me. Tim. Tim. Okay, well, it's nice to meet you, Tim. I'll see you later. Uh, Nia, what kind of robes are they wearing? Uh, they were all wearing silver robes. Okay. Um, but um, the clothes underneath were wizards. seemingly personal. You know, they weren't wearing like, a full uniform. They had mm -hmm. these uh, robes that had kind of like a deeper V on mm -hmm. them, and then... Uh, yeah, okay. Own personal devices underneath. Sorry, it a was deeper a mixed V group. on them. Yeah, it's like a robe that kind of you know doesn't button up all the way here. Like not not a, a painted V, but like <laughs> you know if you've got like a V-neck shirt and it has a, a deeper V. Uh huh. Uh, anyway, it's not a uh, Rossi I... robe, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Anyway, uh, when I see uh, Rahana collapsing, I rush over to help her up. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, Malachi, you seem to be inflicted with some sort of strange disease. Would you like me to get a cleric for you? No, no, no. Uh, you'll see my friends have it too. It's um, 
A spell named Stoneskin. Didn't I tell you to avoid the brothels? <laughs> now, this is uh, quite useful indeed. It protects you from the attacks of uh, non-magical creatures. It's been a good day. Probably close up shop and take a vacation after this visit. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. We have uh, we have important information <sighs> regarding the disappearances around the Shadow Mountains. Mm -hmm. We saw the lair of whatever's been causing all of the disappearances. And tomorrow morning I may know what the creature itself is. Really? But regardless, I can show you the memories of what we did uh, earlier today. I, I have a spell that would let you experience them as I experience them. Vision and sound all. And why would you share this information with me? Because, because I was hoping for your help. I will do what I can, of course. I... Look, whatever it is, we know it's a powerful spellcaster. Not only did it have the magic to cause those disappearances, but it detected that I was scrying on it within a minute. Only a creature of very high intelligence could do something like that. He looks worried. This well, is... And well, all there's, there's the always... Finishers. Rohana, all of them are dead. What did you think they were? Off in Candyland? Of course they're dead. But it's listen tomorrow. Tomorrow I may know what the creature is, and I'm gonna after I find out, I'll come to you and share my memories with you. She nods, uh, but her happy face of you know I just made a fortune goes dark. Uh, yeah, I, I I apologize for souring the mood of the day, but this is important, and I. What Rahana? What do you know of the um, the Witch of the Wilds? Rumor or legend, probably based in some form of reality, but it's been floating around here for generations. I'll spare the details since you'll see them tomorrow, but this creature's lair had broken bones in huge piles. Hundreds of people, presumably eaten. Is that something that uh, this Witch of the Wilds could do? That's well in line with the legends. Hmm. As she eats people. Do you know That's how you would stop? Diet. Do you know how you would stop somebody if you knew they were scrying on you? Would dispel magic do it, or would you need a specific spell? A dispel magic spell would work. There are a few others I have heard of, um, none of which I have personally been able to toy with. Hmm. Well, uh, there's there's nothing else I can talk to you about tonight. I think we'll have to wait until the morning. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. Malachi, are you still gonna go see Aldric? It is uh nighttime now. No, I think I'm gonna get uh ready for my my dinner. Alright. Van is going to um go to a shop and get a cloak, like a hooded cloak, and he's going to go to a different inn than wherever he usually stays. I think you normally stay in the temple. Yeah, he's gonna go to an inn then. Okay. It is evening time around town. Things are closing down. I am going to get go to my room in the inn. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start. Uh, on the way, I'm going to pick up a, a block of wood or carving wood. Mm -hmm. And once, uh, once I'm in my room, I'm going to start carving a symbol of Relcor. Hmm. I'm a Fletcher, so carving shouldn't be a problem for me. Right, that should be totally fine. Hey. Uh, Malachi, it's evening when you arrive at the dock. The sun is setting in the... Sun sets in the west. Um, I go uh, and find the harbor master. Sure. Now, you have no problem finding the ship, if that's what you're looking for. Well, I want to say to I'm looking for the I'm looking for the wave skipper. He points you the direction to it. He looks like he's packing up for the day. Uh, he also looks about... semi-inebriated already. What do you know about this ship? Does this guy just take um, passengers, random passengers all the time, or...? <gasps> Red? <clears throat> yeah. Takes whatever he gets his grubby little hands on. Little ship. 
any sort of merchandise or passengers with it as long as you're headed where his stuff is going. What does he does he sail all around, you know, is he mainly out of Redport or um, Quite sure. I can't tell you where his home port would be. He's a prolific sailor. Perhaps he just lives on his ship. I don't think well, he has a port of home. You uh you have a good night. Mm -hmm. I might Good. see you at the hot point later. If you're still awake. You know, Neil's <laughs> camera blurred right there. It was a nice, nice touch. Yeah, thank you. So I'll, uh, I'll walk up the gangplank or whatever you'd want to call it to the ship. That would be the appropriate term, I think. Um, you make your way up the ship, and there's a, a sailor there who stands in front of you, kind of blocking your way, going, "Hey, this here ship is off limits to tourists." Ah, I'm here to have dinner with, um, Tin, is it? The wizard? Hmm, the enchanter? Alright. Of course. Tim the enchanter, yeah. Hmm. Alright, he said he was expecting a... fella. Yep. Well, make sure you get paid first, he says as he steps by. Get paid first? Mm-hmm. For what? Look. I am not one to get between a man and his coin, but... <laughs> Wait a minute, what do you mean? <laughs> have a good day, sir. <clears throat> uh, where's your captain? Tim's quarters are down those stairs. Take a right and it's your first left. First left on the right. Could I perhaps speak to the captain at some point tonight? <laughs> <clears throat> when you're done, I'll let you know. Alright. I'll be standing watch. I will uh, I go walking to Tim's room, and I want to try and look for the room where all the kids are staying. Um, It is not visible by the time you get to Tim's room. His is much closer to the door than anything else. If, if his door is closed, I'll walk past it and check the rest of the... Sure, so you head down this staircase. There's a door immediately in front of you and a hallway to your right. You head down the hallway. There's a door to your left, which you've been told is the one where Tim would be. And then the the hallway kind of ropes back around, kind of a, a loop. So you can keep yeah. going down the hallway and searching around. Yeah, I'll just do a circle okay. and come back to Tim's door. Um, sure, uh, you come back around to this other end of the loop. It doesn't. It's not a full circle, but it's like a, a horseshoe shape. Um, and there is a, a hallway that leads out. It's like a short hallway, maybe eight feet long, that leads out into an open hold and two separate rooms on either end of the hallway. Um, yeah. Is there beds and stuff in the hold? No, the hold is filled with crates. Uh, you can hear the clucking of chickens and the ruffling of feathers, a few other things going on down there. It appears that they've got livestock and some other cargo. Sure. So I, I listened for the sounds of, uh, you know, excited children, I guess, as I walk past the two doors. Yeah. You, the one on the left um, appears to have the voices of a, a bunch of adolescent youths, maybe, you know, 13 to 15 years old sort of category. How many of them were there? There were eight total, including Tim, so seven. Uh, fairly evenly split between men and women, probably just boys and girls. Yeah. Okay. All right, I go back into Tim's room. All right, you give a, a knock at it, and you hear a voice coming from inside. Yes, come in, come in. It's unlocked. Open the door. Uh, there is Tim sitting in his smallish private cabin. Uh, he is facing the wall. Of, uh, so you're looking at him on his right side. So he's facing... Uh, where was he facing? He's facing port. Starboard. He's facing starboard. Mm -hmm. um, and he swivels in his chair to look at you and goes, Ah, yes, Mr. Mr. Malachi, was it? That's right, Tim. Good to see you. Thanks for the invite. Of course, of course. Right. Um, please, come in. Did you bring your book with you? I did. Ah. Uh, uh, may I peruse the spell in question? Uh, I Could I just... You don't mind if I take a look at your spell book, do you? At the same time? Yes. I wouldn't take any spells, I... of course. I would prefer we keep this to a simple transaction. I'm sure a wizard of your knowledge and standing 
would understand my hesitancy in allowing another person to flip through my... Of course, my... I just, uh, want to make sure you're, um, advanced enough to be able to cast a spell. Oh... I am not too concerned about that matter. Is that so, is it? Well... Of course, I failed learning this spell four levels ago. <laughs> if you're, um... You must be quite powerful, Tim. I'm not one to toot my own horn. Look, gold is nice and everything, but, um... We could all do with learning a few new things, couldn't we? You sure we can trade a spell? I have many things to do. As do I. And, and we they must be leaving town children. very, very soon. I was hoping to peruse your book, make sure this is what I, I think it is, and then have you make a, a quick copy of it for my study on the sea. Yeah, I understand, but could you not make a quick copy for me of one of your spells? Wouldn't it take you a long time to read through my book? Do you have your read magic spell prepared on hand to decipher mm. the writings? No. You see, it would be worthless for me to even open the book to you then. That's all well you obscured. Could, you could describe to me your spells. He seems to be losing patience. I have... I thought we had a, a very clear deal here, Mr. Malachi. I know you well. backwoods sort of wizards do things differently. Where are you from exactly? I come from all over. Uh, I originally hail from Highport. High Castle. High Castle. Sounds awfully fancy. Hmm. I spent uh, years teaching those kids has made you soft, though, and weak. I might be a backwater wizard, but um, I'm sure I've done more... faced more danger than you have, at least in recent years. But now, this isn't the time for measuring staffs, I say as I extend <laughs> my staff 12 foot in the air. <laughs> you literally extend it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he gives a, a chuckle and a, a raising of the eyebrows at this and goes, well... Well, I would hate to be on the wrong side of your poll. So, um, do we have a deal? Yes. I'll open my, uh, I, I open my spell book to, to stone skin and put it down. This page, the next page, two pages after that. Yes, yes, yes. I, yes. I don't want to see you, um, Please looking around Please, stand and, and watch. I, I promise you, I'm up to no tricks. Uh, well. And he proceeds to cast a spell, which I think you recognize at this point as read magic. Yeah. Um, and peruse the pages, nodding approvingly. Um, and at the end of it, he asks you to copy down the spell. And if you would just write that down for me, so I may view it on my journey, I will uh, dig out the, what did we say, 400 gold? Would you prefer... Um, Platinum or or gems? Gems is fine. Thank you. So I'll start copying down the spell for him. Okay. What gems do I get? Um, he four gems. Uh, a four. Garnets. Four deep red garnets. Worth 100 GP each. Okay. So I'll, I, I spend, like, I guess, a few hours copying down the spell. Mm -hmm. I take the gems and uh, thank him. And I leave the room. Hey. Okay. Uh, he take, gives you the gems. And uh, you know, walks you out to the to the deck, talking to you about you know this spell and that, and like oh you know, yeah, so excited to have someone who uh, uh has you. It is so difficult to find quality enchantments like this. Of course, uh, no, it's uh, it took me a lot of study. Yes, te technically they are alterations instead of enchantments, but I think that is simply a. 
mischaracterization of their true intent. You understand? I, I suppose you would know as an enchanter. Although, mm -hmm. perhaps you're also biased. A wise man understands the baggage he carries. You are a wise man. Well, I, I have some business with our friend here. I point to the sailor. So uh, you have a good night, Tim. If ah. you're ever in town again, uh, perhaps with a little, little bit more time, we can uh, maybe spend some more time together. Maybe next year we'll be back again. A whole new class. Uh, good day. And he turns around and heads back to down the staircase and into the room. Uh, it's definitely nighttime by now. So I say so, to the guy, how's about that um, conversation with the captain? Hmm. Right. What did you want to talk to him about? He ain't really the talking type, usually. Just, um... It's important. It's to do with matters of the state. The Baronet. An investigation, an important one. Something to do with a passenger that might have been on this ship a while back. I assume you have records of that kind of thing. I could take the time and come back with a warrant tomorrow, but whilst I'm here... He nods and grumbles and personally leads you down to the captain's room, gives a knock on it. Uh, there's a drunken grumble from inside. He opens the door, uh, waver, waves you in, and shuts it behind <clears> you. <throat> Captain Red, is it? Red's the name! Okay. Liquid Bread's the game. I don't expect you to remember right now, but um, do you have records of the passengers that have been on your ship? Dates? Oh, maybe I do, maybe I don't. It would be polite to tell me what the hell this is going on about. I have invited you aboard my magnificent ship. Of course. Uh, a man, a wizard named Venlin. Uh, how many months ago was it now? I think when his name is Tim. No, nah, months ago. Was oh. it six months ago? Six months ago? Huh? I what? Uh, he disfigured... Um, a local lord's wife with a potion up to some shady dealings. Uh, I heard rumor that he came in on this ship. I'm not accusing you of any wrongdoing. I'm sure he was mostly polite while he was here, but if you could uh, if uh, we could look at those records, see if you can uh, jog your memory about anything about this guy. Jog my memory. Hmm. Where did I put those record books? Couple months back, you know, I don't rightly remember where I put my record books that from that long ago. I don't want to have to involve the, the Baroness here, but this is important. I have time. Well, maybe I'll start taking a look around, but I can't promise to find any record books. You know, it's this well, when, rum when makes you it try. awfully hazy. <clears throat> Why don't you try? I say, not moving. He gets up out of his comfortable chair and starts poking around the hold, uh, around the room, kind of lifting this, pulling this drawer out, looking through here. He completely ignores, like, a small bookshelf that has a bunch of things on it. Um, I saw it looking at that. Hey, 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 what are you doing? This is, this is not your room. Well, you stand... Over by the door. It's my personal space. Captain's ship, you know. Honor well, and respect be, it. Be thorough. My well, father was a captain, and he wasn't always this drunk. <laughs> wasn't always. <laughs> Maybe not when you were around. Um. So this guy disfigured a, a little noble woman, huh? Anyone that matters? Yeah. <clears throat> she was quite beautiful before. Oh. I see. I see where you uh, engaged and your fiance got a little, little funny. No, not my wife, but um, the wife of an important man. Oh, that's fairly less interesting. He plops back down in his chair, still having ignored that entire bookshelf, and goes, "Uh, you know, it doesn't seem like I can find it." <clears throat> well, Maybe... I hope you're more sober in the morning. I'll be back. Uh, we'll be pushing off bright and early in the a.m. Uh, well, then you best get some sleep. Right, right. I turn and walk out of the room. Okay. Is 
no one around, right? Uh, no, you're in this empty little hallway by yourself. I'll go and creep up to the children's room. <laughs> you can hear the uh, kind of quiet sounds of youth who know that it's past their bedtime, that it's supposed to be lights out, still whispering. There's no light visible from underneath the door, so the candles are all out for certain. Um, but you can still hear their quiet voices talking about this and that and the things that they've seen. Hmm. It's just not... Well, it is worth it because it's 5,000 gold per book. Yeah, all the books go missing in the morning. I wonder who could have done this. <laughs> I can just take one. Yeah, I was just going to take one. After he sees, especially that it's like your book is totally full because he's reading like the last pages for your stone skin spell. Yeah, but I can have all the books. <laughs> just leave uh, one of them in terrible debt. <laughs> so they're still awake then. Yeah. It sounds like there are voices. Is the door open? No, it's closed. I'll, I'll just, I'll open the door. I'll try the, I'll, I'll try the lock and open the door. Uh, it's unlocked. Even open, it goes. <laughs> and it's quiet on the other side. Yeah. Uncle Malachi, see you. I cast invisibility. I thought you, you hadn't already done that. No. Um. You hear a bunch of voices go. Ah! Who's there? Who goes there? Um, and you can hear people kind of shuffling and fumbling. As you hear the sound of flint and steel kind of smacking together. Yeah. What do you do? Well, does anyone come out? No. Um, and there's not a lot of light. You know, the only light is the, the starlight and moonlight coming down the main stairwell. So it's just, it's dim in here. You need infravision or something to... So I've only opened the door a crack. I'll walk past it to the other side of the door. Um, yeah, you pretty much immediately bump into a bed. No, 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 I don't walk in. Sorry, I mean, like, if it's on a corridor, mm -hmm. if the door, like, opens this way, mm -hmm. I want to walk past it. So oh, I, can... I see what you mean. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah so I want to try and, like, peer through the... See if anyone's lit a candle in there or peer through a crack. Uh... You can peer through, and eventually, a few seconds later, you see some sparks of light uh, flare up, and it looks like a candle has been lit. One of the youths has a, a candle in a little candle holder, and is kind of waving it near the door, while the others are hold, clutching you know, books or blankets or pillows, and one of them has a, what looks to be a, a bone, that, some sort of like decorative, or maybe some, some bone for studying or something, and he's like waving it around like a little club. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, Don't come any closer! Do I see any spell books near, near the door? Uh, you do see people clutching their books. No. Yeah, so there's none just or, like lying you know, in the foot holding of the their beds. books ready to bash someone, but no. No no and books, like, just with an easy reach. And there's like seven of them. Mm -hmm. I'll just walk quietly away. Okay. And leave the ship. Uh, as oh, you're walking it. away... You see the door to Tim's room open up, uh, and he starts shuffling towards the kids' room, going, "Children, what's the matter? Keep keep quiet." And then they're like, "Oh, oh. someone was here." And then they were oh. invisible. Um, and I think at that point you're out of the, the stairwell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless I go into Tim's room and steal his spell book, I won't do that. Okay, uh, you invisibly walk past the guard who's watching the gangplank and disappear back into town. Yeah. All right. I guess I head just back to my house. Okay. Uh, and I think that's it for this hour. Why don't we come back from break on the other side and kind of wrap things up for today? Um, see you guys on the other side.